Hi, this is Kohan Namat. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you a simple way how you can add stop loss and profit targets to your um, Bind Script strategies in TradingView. So here I have a very simple strategy. This is um, MACD strategy and you can see that logic is quite simple. And here I have only logic for uh, entries implemented. So when uh, delta cross over zero, we go long, when delta cross under zero, we go short. So it's very, very simple. And let's say I want to add stop loss and profit target levels. So how we can do this? To add stop loss and profit targets, you need to use um, strategy exit function. And first, in the first two arguments, you need to specify uh, your order IDs. So first ID will be ID of your closing order. So let's say it will be long exit for the long, uh, for long position. And next you need to specify what position do you want to close. So you just can copy this ID from your entry. This is ID for your position and just paste it. So next you need to specify uh, two options here to two parameters so uh, strategy exit function has many more parameters you can play with but what do you need you need two parameters so you need um, profit parameter and loss parameter and these two parameters uh, can indicate a profit level and um, loss level using uh, ticks so uh, for example if you want to have your for example you can earn 100 ticks for profit and 100 for loss you can run it this way it, it should work so let's uh, add the same stuff for a short position so i will copy the short id here and we'll name it short but everything else is the same so let's try to save it and see if it actually works So you can see it actually works, but uh, uh, for me, you know, like 200 ticks is not, of course, enough because for Bitcoin, it's nothing on our hourly chart. So I need to specify something like percentages, but how you can do this? Unfortunately, profit and loss um, parameters works only with ticks, but there is a kind of a clever way to do that. And you can do this quite quickly. So what you can do this, for example, let's say I want as my profit target, I want it to be 5% and stop loss to be, I don't know, 2%. How you can do this? So it's quite easy as well. What you need to do is just need to specify your close. Then you need to multiply this to 5% and then you need to divide this by um, um, a variable. Um, I think this, this, this is how it uh, spells. So this is variable that actually contain your tick number for your current um, current pair, current um, stock symbol. So um, let's do the same for uh, for loss. I will do the same, but I will change this to 2% and I will copy entire thing and add this to uh, short. So let's save it and see, does it work or not? So you can see now it, it seems to work. Let's measure, uh, does it work correctly? So this is the level we entered our position and this is our level we exited. So you can, you can see that, well, it's not exactly 5%, but it's close enough. Why is it, is it changes? Because here I use just current close and to, to com compute uh, stop loss and profit targets. But what you can do, you can actually remember this price like open price of your um, of your initiation of your position, and after that you can use it, and you, then you can receive like exact levels of stop loss and profit targets. But I think it's quite good as a pretty quick solution. You can see that it just took me two lines of code and like one minute to write this. So I think it can be quite good um, like initial uh, way for you to add profit targets and stop loss. If you need, you can go for a bit more complicated things. And um, I think it's quite good anyway. So I, th I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. See you.